What's up everybody? Today we're going to be looking at how we can take a scarf and pull it through your neck. Winter's come with the cold weather, and that means scarf weather. And I love wearing my scarf, but sometimes I don't know whether it's just sort of too warm like today to wear it, or should I just wear it and then if it gets too hot I can take it off? I don't know. What do you think? So this illusion has been around for quite a while, and there's been a lot of magicians done it over time, and I do believe there's people like Chris Angel and stuff still doing it. The place that I remember seeing it is on the Magic Secrets Revealed, which used to be on TV, which was the mass magician do different things. And a lot of people used to do it with rope and chains and stuff like that, but most commonly it's up on YouTube and all over the internet it's done with a scarf. But you can use pretty much anything you want. So chains, rope, wires, scarves. We're gonna go through with the basic method and obviously use a couple of different things just so we can show you how you can do it with them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna switch out this scarf for another scarf, which should be easier to view. So here we go. It's not one of the usual scarves that you wear when it's out cold, because I couldn't find that. This is just exactly the same. You need it quite long, but uh, you can use anything, as we see. So we first start putting it around the back of your neck, just like that. So now you get your staff around your neck, what you need to do is normally you'd have both ends exactly the same length and you sort of put it on however you want. But for this, what we're going to do is the left hand side is going to be longer than the right hand side. You can see there that's around about hip waist or ideally a bit further down and this one a hip waist. But for this example, with it being a bit shorter, we're going to use this. So what you need to do for this method is right hand across and left hand underneath. So essentially you're going to be ending up like this. What you want to do is move both your hands together and you're going to form this here. So when you have this, what you're going to do is like you'd normally put your scarf hands behind your head and that's your knot and then you can pull it off. So again, left side a bit longer, right side across, left side underneath. You need to get to this knot here. So you've got your knot like this and what you need to do is put both hands up and just pull and then you let go and pull that bit. So again, around, right, left, over that knot. Pull over the back of your head. And when you're there, your right hand needs to let go. Your right hand comes out. Left hand goes across, and wherever the right bit of scarf is, you pull that down. So essentially, that is your scarf. But if you look on the back here, you have this knot. So you need to be in a standing in a position where the people can't see that. So straight on, that's fine because you can just sort of hide behind. But if you've got the spectator at the side here, then you'll be able to see that knot. So left side further down, right, right hand across on top, left hand at the bottom, grab the knot, arms overhead. So your right hand comes out, and you can use that to move the knot around, grab the right side of the scarf. Then you can slowly pull it, and as you can see, the knot will just come undone, and just like that. So obviously, on the back here, when you're wearing your hoodie, is you have a lot of material spare. Put your scarf around your neck as normal, but as you can see, the material is hiding that bit of the scarf. So left hand longer again, do your trick over and down and now you've got this as you can see here your knot is still there which you can see however you have your hood and your hoodie hiding it so it just looks like a massive material and like so it comes out hopefully you found that tutorial interesting and also learn some tricks i also want to start doing a lot of things with the two camera angles so when i'm recording a trick you can see it from both ends because i found when i was learning a lot of tricks and tutorials and things like that. Most people film with one camera, 
So with the scarf, for example, you do the scarf and then if you turn around doing this sort of thing. But I think it's much easier with the two camera angles so I can just flick between them. So if you watched to the end of the video, thanks for watching and if you haven't already, if you could give the channel a subscribe, a like and a comment, especially with the new channel and just sort of to try and push it a bit further, that'd be great. And if there's any other tricks or tutorials that you want covering, just uh, give me a shout in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Till next time, see ya.